What's up, little savages? How would you like to make an animation like this? Have your camera, hand around the Statue of Liberty, or any other of your subjects. There it is. Cycling around it. Nice, clean, smooth transition there. All right, so I'll show you there, show you that, how to have a, a camera follow a path there. All right. Uh, so first, let's bring in a circle. And not just any circle, but a busier circle, a curve. So I shift A, and don't go to mesh, circle, not that one. We're going to go over here to curve. So shift A, curve, and then you can go to circle right there. And the circle has the same diameter as the uh, the length and width of this cube here. So it's also uh, 2. So we got to make it bigger. So let's make it as big as you want. You can resize it later. Just make it big enough so um, what looks good for it, to, for a path to go around the circle. All right, seven for top view. Uh, so I scaled it up, I hit an S, and I pulled the mouse away and left click. All right, so there's my origin there for my circle. So move it around, that little yellow dot moves as well. And I don't want it there. I want it over here along the curve, along the, uh, the perimeter here of the circle. I want it over here. All right, so to do that, I'm going to hit tab key with my circle selected, take it edit mode. There we go. So you can see here, there's these little handles here. I can G for grab, I can move it around so I can reshape my circle, similar to vector graphics. So you can do all that. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reshape my circle. I just want to keep it nice and circular and have my camera uh, move uh, smoothly around it. All right, so I want my origin down here on the y-axis. So my camera starts here and it'll circle around it here from the front view. So I just click there on that little dot there, that pin there for the, uh, the circle and now I'm gonna first because I want the origin there I gotta tell it how to put it there so I want to move the 3d courser that lifesaver icon I want to put it over there first so I'm gonna shift s brings up the mess uh, the snap menu and courser to select it and it's gonna jump the 3d courser down here to the selection there it is bam all right but my origin is still there so to put the origin here I have to go to object mode back to object mode tab key now I'm in object mode and I want the origin here. And this only works in object mode. In object mode. So I'm going to right click my circle. Set origin. Origin of 3D Cursor. And it's going to jump over here. Set origin. Origin 3D Cursor. Cool. There it is. So now a little dot is over here. A little yellow dot. All right. I want my camera over there too. So it starts over here. Select the camera. And I can try to move it there by hand. So G for grab. Try to put it there. But it's a lot easier if I also use a snap menu. Shift S with my camera selected. And go over here to selection of cursor. So whatever is selected, we'll go to the cursor. So the uh, the origin for it will uh, be right there at the middle of the cursor. Selection of cursor. There it is. Cool. And I want my camera to face the cube. Right now it's facing over here, out in space somewhere. So I wanted to face my camera. So I'm going to use the sidebar, the sidebar menu to change that. So I'm going to end for Nancy. Because I can also hit R for rotate, try to freehand it. But right here, it gives me the degrees. So I'm going to do a, a Z-axis rotation right here. I'm going to change to zero. Notice the item tab in case you have a different tab open. So I'm going to click in here and change that to zero. Boom. And now it's facing my cube there. It's zero for camera view. All right, it's a little bit down. That's OK. It's facing straight ahead. Let's see three for right view. Actually, it's not facing three straight ahead. It's facing a little bit down. Three for right view. There we go. So I wanted to face that way. I gotta change this one to zero as well on the x on the x axis. Oh, sorry, on zero and uh, ninety. Enter. There we go. So now it's facing my cube. There we go. I'm not too concerned about um, it pointing directly at the cube. Just kind of looking in that direction. That's all I want right now. So I'm gonna end to get rid of this. So for top view, because later um, when I make it follow the path, it's gonna move around again and I have to rechange it. So long as it's uh, somewhat facing the the cube, you should be all right, or whatever your subject is. All right, so now to make it follow the path, but before that, I gotta do something else to give me uh, less errors, less problems later, make things easier for me. With my camera here selected, I'm gonna hit Control A, and select all transforms, apply all transforms, and there we go. And that'll just update it with all the changes I made right now with the rotations and the changes. And the same thing here for the circle. I didn't do much, I just moved the origin, just in case, Control A. All transforms. There we go. So when working with the um, constraints, 
that's the best practice you're gonna wanna update the transforms all right and now I'm gonna use a constraint select the camera of your properties panel this constraint right here constraint tab right there the one looks like that looks like two gears with the band on there that's it right there and now with, make sure camera is selected add object constraint that's gonna be follow path so it follows the path there we go so it's still not following the path I can hit the play button nothing happens pause back to frame one so I need to tell it what path to follow here target I can click in here and select whatever uh, busier busier curves I have available and right now the only one available is busier circle so that's what's gonna snap to see or, or my camera already moved over a bit so you shift it over there for up axis I want the Z so that helps me out earlier when I did the free transform so it knows that the Z is up and down deep over camera view it doesn't look bad there I wanted to follow the curve oh jumped over a bit same for top view so he's just facing this way so forward axis Y so uh, forward is Y so it thinks uh, this is forward uh, it's not gonna work right now let me hit uh, enemy path and then play button and that's not the movement I want so he's not really facing the subject zero for camera view so for top view so fortunately I applied the transforms earlier when I hit a uh, control a it's like all, all transforms so now all, all I gotta hit is minus X right here to fix that there we go so now it's facing the camera it is a little bit off with the circle zero for camera view but now it's facing the, the subject there see so now I can make my camera adjustments and I want to do that at frame one all right make it a little bigger here all right it is moving really fast I'll adjust that later but I want to adjust the um, the camera here so I'm gonna want to bring it up GZ there we go I want to move forward closer on my subject there actually I need to get a subject first so earlier I uh, had it rotate along this special uh, the Statue of Liberty here and I got that from thingiverse.com so here's uh, this creator man dragon underscore DE they, uh, they have this upload here at thingiverse.com you can find the same statue there and then I just colored it get that SEL file and download it download it into blender uh, in case you didn't know this you can literally just copy and paste uh, models from one blender window to another blender window so I'm gonna select this one here control C copy over to mother blender project over here delete that cube and then control V paste and there's my statue of Liberty and I don't see the color right now so I'm gonna have to go right here to render view and then I'm um, also got another problem so right now my, uh, my 3d cursor is on my curve so my statue of Liberty is not at the center so I'm gonna adjust it to the center so for top view and what the heck more would you know it did pop up in the center all right I'll take it usually it, it's supposed to pop up right there but that work all right zebra camera view and actually that's not a bad view there so that works I can bring the camera up higher I can make all kinds of adjustments Just try to do them in frame one select the camera frame while you're in the camera view let's say you want to move the camera up GZ you can pull it up you want to look down you want to rotate it I'm gonna hit R then X two times and you can do one of these but make sure you hit X two times you want to zoom in and out it's gonna be G and then Z two times Z for zebra and I can zoom in and out let's see right there and then GZ Z one time just to go up there you go not bad super camera view cool it's going really fast could make you a seasick get some motion sickness so let's change the speed of that so select the curve there you go select your circle and then over here in the properties panel there's curve data right there click on that and they're gonna open this menu right here path animation don't remove that check mark because then it's not going to animate you want to leave that on right here frames 100 so at 100 frames it finishes a whole 360 degrees so there's a camera then 100 we're back where we started there we go so I want to increase this over to 250 or it's right before we started that way there's no overlap in the animation so I'll increase the frames here to 250 it'll slow it down the over camera view play button and there you go easy as that if you'd like to support the channel you can always subscribe give me a like hit the notification bell button give me a comment share anything helps thank you for watching and have an awesome day